to be taken care of. These packages must be paid promptly. The salaries and emolument of the serving officers must also be paid promptly. If we expect that these people should secure our land, we expect so much from them. They say to whom much is expected, much is as well given. So I think we should not take for granted the salaries and emolument of these wonderful officers that when we are asleep, they are awake all night, ensuring that we live safely. I pray that the government will do something hastily. I know government is doing, but through budget allocation, the National Assembly should do more to ensure that these men and women that are defending our territory are well taken care of. And when the money is eventually allocated, as Christian soldiers, because you are here in the church, what is expected of you is to be prudent. I do not understand why the military, the police, we say they are not receiving enough allocations. And yet, the generals in army, the IGs, I'm not talking of uh, Brother Egberto Kuhn, he's my brother, is my friend. The past IGs, those who have served this nation, they live in affluence. They build mansions. Where do you get that money? I believe that it is some of the money that is allocated to buy equipment and to take care of the welfare of your subordinates. Some of us corner it. That is not expected of Christians. You are a Christian, and the Bible says we are the light of the world. Because after all, all this wealth we are accumulating, where are we taking them to? We are all going to give account of our stewardship before God. I call upon the church of God to partner with the government of the day in a much needed rebranding of Nigeria. The church is urged to continue spreading the gospel of love for oneself and also the gospel of love for one another and our dear country. We must blur the lines that divide us across ethnic and religious boundaries through messages of tolerance, peace, unity, and progress. This administration is more determined than ever to strengthen and promote the oneness and indivisibility of Nigeria because the strength of our great nation lies in our diversity. Once again, let us salute the courage and appreciate the sacrifices of our men and women of the armed forces. Let us stand in solidarity with their families of the fallen heroes and heroines. I assure you that the government of the day will continue to evolve policies to address the challenges you face as a result of your losses. Security agencies cannot do it alone. Everybody must put hands on deck for us to succeed. So we're calling on all Nigerians to continue to support us in all we're doing. We might make mistakes, but they will never be deliberate. And we assure you that the government of the day has given us all the full support that we require and we will succeed. 2024 is our year of liberty and we can guarantee you that we will achieve success.